What is going on, Pats Nation? It's Patriots Global back here with another video, and in this one, we're going to be talking about a bit of sad news. This is a guy that I think we have all been rooting for to make the final 53-man roster come September, but the New England Patriots have cut undrafted defensive end Nick Coe. Now, the New England Patriots have been pretty dang busy over, I would say, the past week with roster moves. You know, they had several guys, about eight, opt out for the 2020 season. So they had about eight roster spots that they had to fill. They've done some signings. They've done some trades. But they've also done a good amount of releases. And just the other day, the New England Patriots had reached that 80-man roster limit, and now we're at a point where they have four open roster spots yet again. So that is four spots the New England Patriots are going to have to fill, and that is four spots that the New England Patriots are going to have to make some type of roster move. Now, of course, could Bill Belichick be in a position where he's not necessarily trying to fill all of these spots because within a few weeks he's going to have to get down to 53? Yes, but at the same time, within the few weeks we still have of training camp, I expect Bill Belichick to not roll with four open spots on the roster, especially still with some of the holes we have, especially more notably at the tight end position. So either way, I do see roster moves to follow. It definitely seems like a lot of these UDFAs are not making it past camp this year, which is very intriguing. You know, this was a year that I feel like the Patriots signed a lot of great and quality UDFAs. I mean, we were talking about more than one potentially making this final roster. And of course, that could still happen. But with all the guys they're releasing, it, it is pretty surprising. You know, Nick Coe is someone who I thought genuinely was going to make his name heard and was going to make a push to make this final roster, especially with some of the losses that the New England Patriots have had on the defensive side. The defense for the Patriots is going to be one that is going to potentially carry this team. This is what we're going to be relying on. The identity of the Patriots right now is looking to be the defense. The Patriots are somewhat thin throughout the defensive line, whether that's a defensive tackle. They could still use a body at defensive end. We know that they lost Kyle Van Noy, Jamie Collins, Landon Roberts, and now Dante Hightower. And when you look at somebody like Nick Coe, he seemed like the type of guy who really could make the Patriots roster as long as he could just even slightly just make his name heard, which I get is going to be tough for, you know, undrafted signings or even free agents pushing to make an NFL rush this year. It's going to be harder because there was no OTAs. There was no mini camp. There really was no offseason program. And now it's all getting pushed in to a couple of weeks, which is making it harder for these guys that names aren't really big in their case, trying to push to make the roster. Co was a very versatile front seven defender. He could play everywhere throughout the defensive line. Like I said, he could play at defensive end. He could play at defensive tackle. He could even go ahead and slide out to outside linebacker. These are all positions the New England Patriots needed help at. And it's interesting too, because while he was at Auburn, he was considered to be a potential first round draft prospect heading into his final year at Auburn. His draft stock, of course, plummeted, which nobody essentially expected. And this occurred when he managed just 15 tackles and no sacks in 2019 and was kind of ripped out from that starting role. Now, for Nick Coe, he was able to survive that intentional round of the Patriots cuts when they had to go from the, the 90 men they had all the way to 80. So that's at least 10 cuts the Patriots had to make. Um... And I expected him to do that. I expected him to make it. But there are guys on this roster that I just look at it and I go, really? Like, they're on the roster over somebody like Nick Coe. Someone like Nick Thurman, who is not going to make this roster. <clears throat> somebody like, uh, let's say, Isaiah Zuber, the wide receiver. The Patriots are stacked there. He's not going to make this roster. And, of course, the Patriots just had rookie center and seventh round pick Dustin Woodard retire already from the NFL so that's another open roster spot 
earlier on I made a video on basically how Nick Coe could be a guy who pushes to make the Patriots final roster could be the steal of the draft for the New England Patriots and you know what I still stand by that despite what's happening I firmly believe that Nick Coe will easily find a home somewhere else let's remember that he was originally signed as a UDFA by the Buffalo Bills the contract fell through and right away Bill Belichick hopped on to sign Coe I guarantee you this guy is going to find a home extremely soon if the Patriots do not bring him back ASAP. Sadly, we are in a case where we can't say why exactly Nick Coe was released. Now, let's remember he had some off-the-field issues. Could that have played into factor? Possibly. Could it just be a factor of he wasn't contributing in the way that the Patriots were, were hoping or just not contributing in a way that they thought, okay, heading into the season, you won't be a factor? Possibly. And hey, maybe if this NFL offseason was like any other NFL offseason where players are given a preseason, players are given months to actually showcase their abilities and not just a couple of weeks and virtual meetings, then maybe we're talking about a different aspect here with Nick Coe. Again, we, we just don't know why exactly he's being released. And if we did, we could touch upon this a lot easier, but... Firmly, for my own opinion, I do wish that Bill Belichick kept him around until the roster cutdowns, you know? Right now, the team is not doing anything crazy. They're not doing anything team-wise that is showcasing anybody's abilities. As we progress, starting Monday, when we're able to do some real drills, we're able to do some real training camp activities, is when you'll start seeing and hearing more from the players. So you can't really base a guy off of you doing your your kind of limited OTAs. Just at least wait till you can see him do um, some actual drills in actual training camp. But that's going to be it for today's video. The New England Patriots have released undrafted defensive end Nick Coe. What are your guys' thoughts on this? I know that he was someone that a lot of us were pushing for and a lot of us liked, but it looks like that just didn't happen and wasn't the, the, the plan Bill Belichick was looking for. So what are you guys feeling? Tell me in the comment section below. Remember to give this video a big, big thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already for all of your New England Patriots news. Like always, thank you all so much for watching, and I will catch you in my next video.